Hello, this is Paul with Logix Magazine. Today, we're going to talk about building automation systems. Now, if you've ever walked into a building that has that's air conditioned, that has heating, whether it's a factory floor or a main office building, then you are working walking into a building that has a building automation system. Now, some of these systems might be just just like the type of systems you use in your home. It comes right off the furnace and has a local uh, controller. But what you're going to find out in the industrial manufacturing world that it gets a little bit more complicated than that in most cases. Uh, often what you're going to find out is that the um, buildings are controlled in temperature or specific spots in buildings might be controlled temperatures due to uh, contributing factors to their process. For example, if you have to have a, a gluing system that's got the building might need to be maintained to a specific temperature. It can't go too low or too high. It's got to be maintained within that, that parameter. You're going to need some sort of building control system. Now, I want to share this with you today, even though it's a, a tiny bit outside of the scope of POC programming. But what you're going to find out is as a programmer, as a manager with industrial controls background, you may be asked to uh, lead and or manage the uh, building automation systems. So I want to introduce you to the, the concept, the idea, some great resources for you to learn more about this process. Now, why is this important? Because this has actually affected me personally. I had to take over a, B, a building automation system for two huge buildings that uh, that I didn't know anything about. And the systems weren't in balance. It turned out to be quite a challenge to say the least. All right, so now what I want to do is go ahead and show and share with you some information regarding BAS systems, right? Okay, so let's go ahead and escape out of this, this here and get into looking at what is a BAS system. Now, the interesting part about a BAS system is it has programmable controllers. Now, they're not Siemens, they're, although they could be. But they're not Rockwell Automation, uh, RS Logix 5000, TIA Portal. Those are not the platforms. They're totally different platforms. But they are programmable um, controllers, right? And they use the exact same type of um, uh, fundamentals that we use in, in POC programming. There are PID loops. There's inputs. There's outputs. There's... there's um, timers, and there's a whole array of instructions that you will compile um, to create the logic necessary to control these building processes. So if you ever walked into a building that has air conditioners on the roof, for example, or they have uh, security or any of those types of things, we'll get into the network here in a minute, but they, they are controlled by these controllers. Now, there's a large variety of controllers. Here we got zipper controllers, common internet uh, protocol controllers, spider controllers, which is a uh, controller that I'm at least moderately familiar with. You can, you, in this type of um, uh, building automation system, you will build your own HMI screens to monitor, monitor, to log data regarding your, your processes. All right. So you got all that kind of information. A lot of this is like IIoT. I, we have a lot of interconnected software and solutions, a lot of devices that are connected into a system like this, all the way down to your local um, office or room uh, controller will be tied into a BAS system. Now, obviously, not every building that has a remote controller in it is tied into a BAS system, but Many of the modern buildings and automation uh, um, uh, manufacturing facilities that require controlled processes do and are managed by BAS systems. So here we got all kinds of uh, controllers, HMI systems, as I mentioned earlier. So there's just a whole array of them. Now let's look at how these might be networked together. So this is an example of a, um, uh, let's start right up here. So this is an example here of a SIP or common internet protocol controller setup, right? So we have our controller, we have our Ethernet devices here, right? But this is a great example right here. This here is uh, for HVAC. So we got our controllers, we got our local remote controls, we have sensors, switches, actuators, and dampers, all right? So this actuator might have open vents, for example, and dampers um, will open um, chutes and things of that nature. All right, so 
Here we have videos, so we can tie in all our video security systems into our controllers. That's right, video. Um, electrical, so we can control our electricity, our, our data log, our electricity, water, gas. We could, could actually control all that as well. We will use a lot of our VFDs to control a lot of our devices, our motors and controllers and actuators, right? Field integration, so we can we integrate all kinds of things like lighting, HVAC, plant control systems such as compressors, etc., into a system like this. Facility security will, can be controlled um, with a BAS system. Intrusion keypads, remote readers, access control, time and attendance, security, all can be tied in. There's all kinds of different field devices that can be tied into this type of network to include communication, fan coils, VFDs, actuators, smoke and fire alarms, valves, dampers, economizers, sensors. Just a whole array of devices. Now let's look at some of the other items, some of the other networks that can be built using this. Okay, um, let's see, did I? All right, so we do. There's another example of an HVAC security, so we can have a remote access, security elevator control. Um, so you can control who gets on and off an elevator. Uh, obviously, again, video, electrical. There's just a large variety of devices and networks that you can put together using a BAS system. Now, you may say this, is, this might be off base or uh, related to PLC programming, but it's not. As a programmer, as an automation professional, it is potentially likely, as was in my case, you're going to be asked to be participate in working with a BAS system at some point, um, without a doubt, or you'll be working with BAS um, engineers or technicians at some point uh, to try and control temperatures and processes in a manufacturing facility. That's why I want to introduce you to this very interesting, really cool um, um, industry, building automation system. Now, one of the other great resources, or a great resource, I should say, is a program that I personally took. It's the uh, Smart Building Academy, smartbuildingsacademy.com, at, at uh, smartbuildingsacademy.com. It's a great, they got tons of different courses here. Um, I'm one of these companies, through my company, I actually took some, some training here, and they have some really great uh, courses here. So they have a technician path, an actual, um, so IT for BAS, BAS program, it's very in-depth information. Um, you can design entire BAS systems, control your sequence, fundamentals. Programmer path, obviously that's the path I took, and, and it was very helpful. Um, obviously you see that it's not necessarily cheap. You want, it's an investment like anything else, but there was a lot of value for me to take this. So it gave me the automation fundamentals, how BAS system works, control sequence, how, uh, HVAC and heating and, and, um, other, um, control systems were actually programmed. So I wanted to see on the backside, well, how would you program for that type of thing? How how similar was it to PLC program? It's it's like um, function block was my connection. Oh, okay, I understand this, I see this. Um, so it's an entire boot camp uh, type of environment. Um, and you just, you just, you get the, the software, you get, obviously you get uh, all the training courses, the, re, the all the materials you need to learn how to program as well as you can ask questions to the to the um, to the group uh, about any questions you have i had a system already that i was trying to manage and get back in balance so they were in, invaluable to me helping me get my understand my system and understand what the bas system was trying to do so um this is a great resource the designer path i did not take but i thought it was pretty cool so you learn how BA system, the protocols, common theory and practices, then it's that network protocols, how to put together a submittal, submit a, 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 um, a, an option or a, a proposal, closeouts. Um, there's just a lot of information, control sequence, fundamentals, as I mentioned earlier. There's just a lot. And the technician is, you know, the guy goes in, shows up and wires things together, troubleshoots. Um, and, and sets the hardware, gets all hardware and all those items 
set up and uh, configured. So, perform job takeoffs, line out, um, installers, install and configure field controllers, set up and configure front end, including graphics, uh, schedules, trends, alarming, how to gather all the information, documentation as built in order to close out the project. Okay, you'll be responsible for network, server, database, APIs, cybersecurity, etc. As you can see, this is a pretty, pretty in-depth training course, and they, they really break it all down uh, and make it very simple for you to understand. At least that's been my experience. I highly recommend you come on, come here to smartbuildingsacademy.com and take a look around for yourself. You're going to find it is an interesting course option. If you are looking for something uh, to get into um, with your already, with the knowledge you already have regarding POC programming, you will find a very smooth transition. You understand analog, you understand the street signals, you got uh, controls, you got programming. It's all the same. It's just a little bit different. It's just different platforms, but it's all the same. All right. And you can see what you can get into. I mean, the security, electrical, um, uh, HVAC, building controls. And you got to think about um, even if you stay in the controls field and you're not, I'm not encouraging you to leave the controls field. You may be working with a process that needs to be to be controlled by the BAS system. This is the type of training you would uh, could take that would help you manage uh, controlling that process. All right. Anyhow, I just wanted to share this with you. It's something I personally had to go through um, uh, to be able to manage a process system in a building that I had. Actually, I had a couple of really huge buildings that we have to manage. One of them is very specific to managing and controlling our process. All right, we got to maintain some temperatures and air pressures and all kinds of things going on there. And I, I really wanted to understand how this uh, system worked and what was what was on the back end of it. So I highly recommend this course, Smart Buildings Academy. You will find out everything you need to know and all the support you need to know right from uh, Phil Zito and his team at the Smart Buildings Academy. So until next time, this is Paul with Logics Magazine. Until then, until next time, you guys. Keep uh, programming. All right. Talk to you next time. Bye.